Hi guys, PD here, welcome to the channel, welcome to another new video. Subnautica Below Zero has now got an official mod. The original game had official VR support. This is the latest game in the series guys. And the developers for some unknown reason decided not to add VR to the game, which is a shame. So we're having to rely on these awesome people to mod the game and get it to work in VR. I first tried this mod guys about eight months ago last year. You can see my video here, look. This is my thumbnail from eight months ago. There were some major issues with the mod at the time guys. Let me just run my video so you can see full screen. As you can see my video playing now, this is my video from last year. There's problems with the textures in the sky. Um, it felt a bit janky. Um, it did not feel like a proper VR mod. In fact, it did not feel as good as what I get when I'm playing Vorpex games. So for me, back then, Vorpex games looked and worked better than this mod. Now the developers of this mod have been tirelessly working on it. They've got it working. There's a guide on how to get this working. I've just done a fresh install of the game, guys, on my new PC. So I've never played the game yet on my new PC. So this is the first. We're going to go through the guide together and we're going to get this up and running and I'm going to tell you what I can see in the headset. And we're going to see if this is any better than when I tried it last year. The first thing you need to do, you need to go to this website here guys. I'll leave a link to this website in my description below. And you need to follow these instructions here. So the, the modders are asking you to join their Discord. From there you can get help from the community and the modders themselves so if you get stuck there's quite a few well-known youtubers i know i've been covering the game lately uh gamer tag has been covering it bido benjo has been covering it uh bido benjo's got a really nice guide as well so if my guide does not work check out his guide so step one we need to uh, download this mod here qmod manager 4 so you go to the link guys download it i've already downloaded it I've got it in a folder ready to go, which is here. And then we need to, uh, step two, download this one. Again, just follow the link, which is here. And again, we need to uh, download this. I've done that already. So now I've got both files in a folder on my PC and they're both here. Look. So these are the mods we need. I'm going to go back to step one. And we need to install the QMod. So we're going to do that right now, QMod. Now Windows will pop up and try to stop it from running this program, guys. If you're unsure, just do a virus scan on it. I did not find any viruses, guys. It's just a Windows precaution. So scan it. Okay, we're going to run the file. Run anyway. Click on next. Okay, so the mod manager is now telling me to find the directory where the game is installed on my PC and it's on Steam. Now you can do the same if you've got the game on the Epic Store. Follow the guide further down. It tells you how to install the game, install the mod if you've got the Epic version of the game. So it's found the link already here, look. I'm going to click on next. And if you get stuck, there's a little button down here. Get path from Steam. Make sure you click on that and it will find the uh, folder anyway. Click on next. And we're just going to install it guys. Okay, click on finish. So that's step one done. So now we're going to go to step two and we need to download and extract the mod. So we've got the folder. We have the file here, look. Again, do a scan with your virus checker. Make sure there's no viruses, no threats. That's clean. And we're going to extract it here. Extract all. I've now got a little folder here with all the mods in it. 
this is now telling me to replace these files with the ones in my Steam folder. If you want to find out where the files are stored on your PC for the Steam version of the game, go to where the game is on Steam, right click, go to manage, browse local files, a folder will open up and show you where all the files are on Steam. Okay, so on the left are the Steam files, on the right are the files in the mod, and we're just going to drag these across guys, drag them over, in fact you can copy them, copy and paste, if you make a mistake then you've still got the files, so copy, paste, you will get a prompt to replace the files, so do that. Okay, so once you drag these files across into the Steam folder, you've now got two options guys, you can either click on the uh, Subnautica Zero Oculus VR, which will boot up the game straight into your Oculus headset, or if you've got like a, an Index, a Reverb G2, you need to select Subnautica Zero Steam VR. So I'm going to select the top one, Subnautica Oculus VR, we're going to run it and we're going to check out the game guys, so Hopefully this will work. Okay guys, here we are in the game and already I can see a big difference in the quality. The skies have been fixed. This looks amazing guys. 3D is really, really nice here. Okay, let's have a look at the options menu. Now don't forget guys, this is my a fresh install of the game. I've not even played in Panke mode. So basically I ran the game, booted up this mod so these are the settings based on my PC, on my graphics card. Okay, general graphics. So these are the default graphics um, for the game. I'm going to leave this alone for now, guys. I'm playing the game with the Xbox controller. So you can play the game with the mouse and keyboard or the gamepad. You can't play this game with the uh, motion controllers or the ones. And it was the same with the original game. The original game had proper VR support, but you could only play it with the, uh, the gamepad or the mouse and keyboard. And it looks like this mod is the same, guys. So if you go back to general settings look, there's some options here not featured in the uh, Pancake game. VR render scale and VR PDA distance. That is new to the game. So just bear that in mind. That's something that the mod has added to the game. I'm going to jump straight in guys, let's just jump in, start a new game. Start a new game, freedom mode. Press any button to continue. This is the farthest that I can take you on company space box, Robin. You sure you want this? The research is in everything. It is to me, and Sam. I need to know what Okay, this is cool. The meteor storm. I can use it for cover from Altera's eyes. I'll find Let's go. Bike. Wow. That looks awesome, guys. Okay, this is looking really good so far. Approaching 45, 46 feet. So I've got good feelings easy. about this mod. Drop okay, we're falling. There might be some loading issues guys as the mod loads in all the textures, that sort of thing. Okay, there's my crash ship. Okay guys, we're in the game. Okay, already this is uh, running really, really well. I'm on Hoff. Now if you're a big Star Wars fan, you'll know what I mean with all these asteroids coming down. This is incredible guys. Already I can feel a big difference between this and when I first played it. A year ago. They've done an incredible job with this mod guys. This feels native. Let me grab a flare. Okay so the big question will be does this feel like the original game? 
And don't forget guys, the original game had VR support by the developers. I don't know why the developers did not add VR support to this game. Because it's a no-brainer. This game, this series of games is best played in VR guys. There's nothing better than being totally immersed in the world. Okay, that's really interesting. So, this mod has disabled your thumbstick for looking up and down. Normally when you play these games pancake mode, your thumbstick allows you to look up and down. That's been disabled in this mod, so... Proper VR now, look guys, I can look up and down with my headset. Just how it's supposed to be. Okay, let's jump into the water and uh, let's test this out. We need to head towards the submarine. Okay, this is awesome. I'm going to grab some loot on the way. I know what I'm doing. I've played these games before. I've got many, many hours in the original game, guys. I can tell you right off the bat, this feels like the original game. Congratulations to the modders. They've done an amazing job. Now, if you watched my video from eight months ago, I was saying it was a little bit janky. I was complaining. There's major issues with the textures. Lots of popping. Oxygen. Lots of issues with the sky. That's no longer the case. This is superb. It's well worth your time to mess around with these few settings to get this to work, guys. Let me just grab this iron here. I can't grab that, okay. So if you've played the original Subnautica in VR and you loved it, this is more of the same guys. Really, really good. And if you've never played a Subnautica game, basically it's like an underwater adventure. It's a survival game. You have to build your base. You have to... Uh, Oxygen. You have to go out in the world, craft items. Very similar to No Man's Sky. If you played No Man's Sky, then this is a very similar game, but underwater. Now, my first port of call is to try and get more oxygen. I'm going to see what I need to craft better oxygen tanks so I can stay underwater better. So this is my fabricator. This is where I craft items, go to personal equipment, Standard OT tank, I need two titanium and some fibre mesh. So how do I make fibre mesh? Let me go back. Resources, basic materials. Fibre mesh I get from creep vine samplers, which are the uh, plants that grow from the bottom of the ocean. Now to get these samples, I might need a knife. So what do I need to craft a knife? Equipment, tools, scanner, survival knife. I need some silicon rubber. So what do I need for silicon rubber? I need some seeds from the plant. The first thing I'm going to do guys is go and grab some seeds. And on the way to the seeds I'm going to get some loot. So we're looking for like um, kelp type plants. Now this game you have to keep an eye on your oxygen, you will die. Okay, there's a waypoint over here. Emergency supply cache, we're going to head over there. I'm looking for anything I can use. What's this? Is that an egg? Creature egg. Open the PDA. Oxygen. Well Sam, I guess I might as well gather some tools and resources for okay. my search. That radio What's happening here? I'm running low on oxygen, guys. Okay, I'm under wood for. That's amazing. Okay, I wonder what's happening here. Look at this. The detail is incredible, guys. Okay, there's like an alien creature here, look. He's uh, catching fish. Hello there. Let me grab uh, the loot. I do believe this is salt. Oh, hello. I'm being attacked. I'm frozen. 
Okay. I need air. Let me go. Okay, you have to bash your one to... Uh, yeah, let's go quick. So the uh, shoulder pads help with your diving, guys. You can use your head to look up and down to dive. Okay, so we're following this waypoint over here. And it's under this ice flow here. There's like an ice cup here we need to try to navigate. There's like an ice cave. Okay, we've got an air pocket above me, that's good. I'm going to grab this, break the limestone, get all the loot. You should be able to use this. Grab the air, head upwards. Now this game does have day night cycles. It's also got a really cool weather system. Okay, let me show you my uh, PDA. So this is my inventory lot. These are the things I've collected. Um, this is telling me where to go. It's got a hint system. You can take photos, your logs, that sort of thing. So down we go. Head towards the beacon over here. Okay, these are the plants we need. I'm going to grab some seeds. So the game freezes every now and then, guys, as it's loading in some textures still. This is the plant we need. I'm looking for some seeds. I don't see any seeds on there. Here we go, look. Grab some of these. Oxygen. Grab a few of them. Head to the surface really quickly. Like I said, it's really easy to die in this game. Okay, so there's a pod below me here, look, survival pod. We're going to go and get some supplies. Grab the water. Now I'm playing on freedom mode, so I don't have to worry about food and water. If you play the normal survival mode, guys, you need to craft food. I'm going to go back to my submarine Oxygen. and start to build a knife and then start to look into building better oxygen. Look at the storm. Look at this. Okay, it's really dark under here now. So it's night time above me, and you can um, craft a torch. Look at this giant fish here. It's like a, it's like a giant sunflower that you find on, on Earth. Sunflower fish. That is massive, guys. That's about the size of an elephant. Can I pick it up? Oh, he's giving me oxygen. I just grabbed oxygen from this fish. So I've not really spent a lot of time in this game guys. I tried the mod last year and I was waiting for the mod to get better before I spent any time in it. So I've only spent like an hour or two in the game. Okay, let's catch a fish. So you can catch fish to eat them. Then you take them back. You can cook them. New blueprint synthesized. You use the D-pad on the gamepad, guys, to scroll through your inventory, which you can see on the bottom of the screen there, look. There's a flare. These flares look amazing. This mod is superb, guys. I would say this mod is worth buying the game for now. If you've been sat on the fence about this game, and you've been waiting for a VR support, this is it, guys. Just, just do it. Okay, let me put my flare away. I've got a fish. Okay, we're going to start to create silicon rubber. Okay, can I build a knife now? I've got a knife. So with a knife, I can go back 
get some more plants and then I can build oxygen tanks. So I'm going to craft the knife. That will go in my inventory. That should now be equipped. There we go. I've now got some protection guys. And we're going back out. We're going to head towards the uh, the beacon again. I do know there's kelp near the beacon. The items I need are near this emergency supply cache. I want to show you guys the uh, the penguins. Let me try and show you the penguins. Okay, so it's night time. Look, look at this. That looks incredible, guys. I feel like I'm on one of the moons of Mars. I feel like that's Mars. Uh, that's Utopia. And it's snowing. So as you can see, real-time weather systems. Now, I never finished Subnautica. And this game is making me want to finish the first game. I've got my flare. It's really dark. Okay, so are these the plants we need? Let me grab my knife. Can I chop these? Yep. Okay, I've got my samples. Oxygen. Grab some oxygen. Oh, I'm under a nice flow. I'm back at that awesome waterfall. I never saw this waterfall in there the first time I played. Eight months ago. Okay, let's head back to the ship. Now, performance-wise and graphics-wise... This looks as good as the original game in VR. Okay, my inventory is full. Oxygen. Where's my ship? Okay, can we make it? Made it. Okay. Craft the resources I need. What do I need again? Fiber mesh. Now I can craft some oxygen tanks. No, I still need titanium. Okay. I need to go and find the rocks. Now, if you're feeling a bit disorientated, guys, go back to the main menu. Hit on me, center of your lot. Because I'm facing that way. I should be facing this way. There we go. Easy peasy. Okay, I need some uh, titanium. And the uh, sun is starting to come out. So daytime is approaching a lot. Still really, really stormy. Very cloudy. Okay, so on the ground somewhere, we're looking for rocks. I need to break the rocks to find titanium. At some stage, I will need these as well. Storage. So I grab those. This is amazing, it really is. Really, really hard to explain how this looks in VR, guys. Superb mod. Oxygen. Okay, there's one. I think I need one more. Okay, let me show you these guys over here first. I love these penguin guys. And this game feels so alive. The wildlife down here. There's a rock. Has it got titanium in it? So you press down the A button to um, activate things guys. Okay, where were those penguins? Over here. Now this game and the original game is not for the squeamish guys. It's got some really scary monsters in it later on. As soon as you start to craft the, the submarines. Where did the penguins go? Am I on the wrong rock? They were over here somewhere. 
Okay, that music's not good. So the music is a good sign that there might be something nasty around you. It's a sea monkey. Hello there. Hello sea monkey. Try not to get trapped under these uh, ice sheets. You will drown. Okay, where's the oxygen? Oh crap, okay. I'm going to get trapped if I'm not careful. There are some plants on the bottom of the ocean, guys. Oxygen. That do give you oxygen, so... If you do find yourself too deep, try to find the plants with the bubbles. There's like cave systems down here, look, look at this cave system. Again, try not to get trapped in here. Inventory is full. This looks incredible, look at this. Oh, there we go. So here's an oxygen plant. Now these do take time to replenish, so don't hang around guys. Grab the oxygen and get out. Treat these plants like an uh, emergency supply. There's a really cool sense of depth here as well in the oceans. Um, I can't find the penguins. Where have the penguins gone? Over there, look. Okay. Now, I do believe there are pets in the game. Um, you can find eggs. Look at these guys. Hello. I'm going to pick up a baby one. And the parents are going to be really, really upset. My inventory is full. Let me, uh, let me uh, remove something here. So, this PDA, guys. Um, in the main menu, you can bring it closer to your face. Like I say, I'm playing this on a 4K monitor, so really hard to see. Okay, we're going to drop the samples. I don't need all these. And we're going to uh, pick up a baby one. Come here. Look at this guy. He's so cute. Now, normally the uh, parents will attack you. Here we go, look. He wants his baby back. Sorry. Put him down. He's in my inventory now. I picked him up by mistake. How do I drop him? Hypothermia imminent. There we go. Okay, I'm getting cold, guys. I need to get back in the water. Look at this guy. Amazing. Yeah, this game, you will get cold. You need to keep warm. Being in the water, it's warmer than being on the surface. I found like a platform here. Can we uh, explore this? There might be some supplies here up the ladder. Okay, here we go. Look. Now, if I build a scanner, I can scan these parts. Dangerous weather approaching. Seek shelter. And then I can use those blueprints to build these parts. You will need these parts later in the game, guys, to build submarines. Look at the lightning. And the submarines help you deep diaper and help you go deeper into the game. Grab some food. Okay, that was close. That lightning strike was right near me. Again, I'm getting cold, so I'm just going to jump back in. I'm going to go back to my ship. And I'm going to craft oxygen. If you get lost, guys, there are waypoints in your HUD up display. Look, I can see my submarine over there, and the supply cache is over that way. So, if you find a log, read the log, and the log will unlock new missions for you. Those missions will appear on your HUD, and then it's a matter of just following them. Yeah, these aliens look amazing. Oxygen. They got the underwater here perfect, guys. The sounds, the uh, visuals, the effects. 
And the beauty of playing these games in VR with a headset, you feel like you're wearing a real diving mask. So this actually feels more authentic than a natural VR game because I feel like I'm wearing a diving mask. I can see the edges of my mask. It's just perfect guys. And shame on the developers for not adding official VR support. And screw the developers because we got this amazing VR mod. Oxygen. Okay, fabricator. Did I build the oxygen tanks? Okay, equipment. Oxygen tank. That's going to give me more oxygen. Adding additional blueprints to your data bank. The standard oxygen tank can be upgraded for deluxe and VIP breathing. I can now make um, a repair tool as well, so if I find anything broken in the game, I can repair it. So the final part of this video guys, I'm just going to have a wander around and explore. I've got more oxygen now, I've got a knife to defend myself. I can dive a little bit deeper. So now it's all about survival guys. Just enjoy the game, take it all in. And if you like games like No Man's Sky with the building, this is very similar. This game and the original game has got a really cool storyline. I would highly recommend you check out the first game as well. You're going to get hours and hours of fun with this game. I'm impressed. Okay, something hiding here. Just rocks. Copper ore. Ah, copper ore hiding in the rocks. Oxygen. Oxygen. So if you're looking for VR games to sink many, many hours into, this is the one for you. Look at these guys. Awesome. So as you progress, as you explore, you start to unlock the game, the story mode. And you start to see some of the really scary creatures now. These games can get really deep and dark. And it's when you go into the death skies, you Oxygen. start to see some of the uh, big scary monsters. I'm going to look into making a scanner now. I need to start to scan objects in the world. So what do I need? For the scanner. Um, if your inventory is full as well, you can start to store things in your storage here. Look, you've got storage here. Okay, repair tool. I want to look into building a repair tool and a scanner. So I need a battery for the scanner. Okay, what do you need? I can build a battery. Yep. Let me see if I've got enough materials for the scanner. Wait, I thought I made a battery. I made rubber, silly me. Battery, there we go. Okay, make a battery. Can I make a scanner? Here we go, awesome. So now I can go back and scan that device, okay. Right. I have a scanner. Okay. Knife, fish. First aid, scanner. Also guys, you can scan fish and get blueprints on fish. So let me try and scan this guy up. You have to chase them though. I researched a bladder fish. Let's do this guy. In fact, let's go and scan a penguin. Okay, where are the penguins? Okay, here's a penguin guy. Try and scan him. Oh, it's that fish. It's a brine wing. It froze me last time. The uh, sense of being underwater is amazing in these games. Now, I have a really cool story to tell, guys. When I first started VR, 
many many moons ago, about four years ago. One of my all time favourite games was called Ocean Rift and basically it was an underwater game like this. It had different scenarios, um, you could swim with sharks, you could swim with the, uh, the underwater deep creatures and um, somebody I was talking to, he was a diver in real life and he played that game and he said it was just like diving in real life. So that just goes to prove guys that these types of games in VR are just as realistic as doing it in real life. Okay, can we scan this now? Okay. I need to scan two more and I get a part of the blueprint so I can build those. This is a really deep cave system here. Oh crap, okay, those things will try and blow you up. They hurt you. Yeah, they blow you up. So just be careful of the, uh, the plant life down here as well. What is this? What? 30 seconds of oxygen Why is that? Running. Okay, I think I've got everything I need. I need to... I'm going to die, I think. I need to get out of here quick. Faster, faster. 12 seconds. 10. Oxygen. 9. Come on, come on. It's so disheartening, guys, when you die right at the top. Full speed, I'm going to die. No! Can I make it? Yes! I can build that sea glide I was talking about. Let me just build it and then we'll end the video. Where's my submarine over here? I do believe you swim fast as well if you're not carrying objects. Shoals of alien fish. Yeah, this is superb. I don't feel the need to tweak any graphics. Again, congratulations developers for this mod. Okay, can I build a sea glide? Where's that sea glide? Fins. I can build fins, look, so I can swim faster. Let's get some fins. Okay, do I need a... Um... Okay, I need a battery, a lubricant, and some copper wire. Can I build any of those? Lubricant. Copper wire. Did I get any copper wire? Copper wire? And a battery. I need a battery. I need some more ribbon plants. Let me grab the ribbon plants. Where's my knife? Get some more plant material and then we can build the uh, sea glide. Supply drop. That's my waypoint, look, guys. I know the plants I need are over this way. So that's a really, really good guide. Look at this guy. Oh, the fish got him. <laughs> okay, so we watched um, Nature in Action there. David Attenborough would be proud. I would love to see a video from David Attenborough playing this game in a VR headset and seeing his reactions and everything that would be amazing also guys this game should work on the Quest 2 with Link and Air Link I prefer to play these games sat down with the Rift S because of comfort this headset so comfortable okay we can make a battery electronics I don't oh ribbon plants I'm full, aren't I? Ribbon plants. Okay, let me... Let me empty this. I can hear a storm outside. Can you hear it? Can you hear that storm? That's awesome. 
Okay, ribbon plants were in the caves. Here we go, look. I need three of these. I think I've got some already. Let me check my inventory. Okay, how many you've got? One, two. I need one more. Okay, here we go, some more in here. Grab these two. Okay, we have enough. Head back to the sub. Okay, uh, battery, here we go. Here we go, Sea Glide. This is going to be amazing, guys. Watch this thing. The Sea Glide is a personal transportation device used for high speed free diving. Contains a built in light and map. Now, I'm going to let you guys into a little secret. If you played Lone Echo, there is one of these hidden when you go outside the spaceship for the first time. So before you get on the electric transporter, if you head towards the uh, station itself, right up the top end, I made a video on it. There's one of these in the game, guys. So this thing here, look. There's one of these in Lone Echo, and it works the same. It gives you a boost in speed. Look at this. So I don't need the fins anymore. I can travel great distances, I've got a boost in speed, I can get away from danger. I'm going to leave it there guys. Like I said, thank you for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe, get the game, play the game, make videos on it. Let the world know how fantastic VR is, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye! Whee! <laughs>